Hey, Rob Guilty, Cape Town Spurs. And today, I want to talk to you about what do you do when your brakes are failing, or you need new brake pads, or you need new brake discs. What's going down? Let's have a look. There you are driving along and you hear this horrible grinding noise in the car struggling to stop. Okay, well the first thing you got to determine is it coming from the front, is it coming from the back? If it's coming from the back, hmm, could be drums, but most of the new cars have got discs, right? Coming from the back, less brake power, not a big deal. It's coming from the front, you've got big problems. But either way, once your brakes start grinding, you're going to probably have to skim the discs or you're going to have to replace them. <coughs> brake rotors, brake discs, same thing. And you're going to have to replace the brake pads. So I always recommend with brake pads at every service, check the thickness of the pads and see how much is left so that you don't end up with a scenario somewhere down the line or somewhere down the situation that your brake pads hit metal on metal. Because even if they don't hit metal on metal, when you're doing a brake pad replacement, it's always advisable to actually make sure there's no ridge and maybe just give them a quick cleanup, a quick skim or something to that effect. Because if you've ground them down, you might end up needing to replace them. If you need to replace them, I've got them on the site. You can go down there, buy yourself a set of discs. You can go down there, buy yourself a set of brake pads. It's as easy as that. But it's danger, it's safety critical. So it's something that's really important to keep an eye on. How do you change brake pads? I mean, it's actually better to get a technician or a professional to do it for you if you don't know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing, it's quite simple. You take the brake pad out of the caliper, or you take the caliper out, you move it back, you take the brake pad out of the caliper, push the piston back, make sure the brake fluid doesn't pour out into the engine bay, and uh, put the new, new, new pads in exactly the way the old ones came out, slide them over the disc, put everything back together, and off you go. Pump the brakes first before you go because you might have no pedal. So, now the question arises, what if I need to replace the disc? Get a technician. Believe me, get yourself a technician because that's going to be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing, easy, hold them off, put a new one on, off you go. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is when they see the brake fluid level has dropped, they'll go and they'll add brake fluid to the reservoir during the course of the car's life, if it's not leaking. That normally goes down as the brake pads go down. So now when you go and put the new brake pads in, that fluid comes up and it pours out. Be careful of that. I normally don't top it up until I've changed the brake pads and then I see where the brake level goes back up to. Because when you push the pistons back, the brake level fluid will go back up in the reservoir. Just a tip guys, just keep an eye out for that. If it's drums at the back, you're going to have to do shoes and I don't know many people that are not qualified that can do that really well so be careful of that but the nice thing about shoes is you can have them relined you don't have to buy new ones particularly you can go out there and just get a set of relined uh, brake shoes and it's very cheap normally that's what people do uh, because if you go and buy a complete brand new set of shoes it's quite expensive and the drum skimming you've got to take the drum out if it's metal to metal, you're going to have to take the drum in for skimming as well. That's another story. But the drums are easy. They just pop off. You take them in, I'll skim them, put it back. Easy stuff. But the actual shoe replacement, what I normally do, and uh, <laughs> believe me, I'm a qualified dude, I will take them off and put the parts down piece by piece and then put them back the same way because you will forget what spring goes where if you haven't done it a hundred times. Okay. Much easier if you take the old springs out, put them down in a specific way, and you can always put them back in the same way. Be careful of using long nose pliers and all those kinds of things to pull your brake pads out. I mean, brake shoes out. I mean, I've, I've known of people that have lost an eye because of these things. Take it easy. Use the right tools. Use the right pulling tools. Don't take chances on this, okay? Because, it, it you know, pulling a spring and boof, straight into you, you know, it's, it's so, so, so bad. So um, there are tools available for doing these jobs and you can do them properly. If you don't know what you're doing, 
take it to someone who does. <laughs> that's always easier. So like I say, as far as the brake pads go, always watch out for that metal to metal, that grinding. It's always an issue. Okay, it's annoying and it's a problem. Other brake failures are caused by brake leaks, cylinder failures, all those kinds of things. You can change hydraulic kits. I think we'll go into that in another video. I don't explain to you what it's about with uh, changing hydraulic kits. So with that, thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. So uh, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Like the Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram as well. So that you can stay in touch and uh, stay up to date on all these videos. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.